original plan for life was to be a big time movie director. So my original major was in college and I was super excited about that. Uh, but right before I got that final letter, I started getting this feeling in my heart that maybe I was about to get an answer I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I remember it was home for Christmas break. And all this was kind of coming to a head. And I, was, I went to this field and I was wrestling with this a little bit. But, you know, kind of how I knew how to connect with God was through the, maybe the memorized prayers, you know, maybe the mass, which of course are beautiful and amazing. I'm so glad I have them. But it was never really sharing me what's really on my heart. But I had reached this moment where this dream that I had, I kind of thought it was about to get totally ripped from me. And I was, didn't know what to do. So I remember running outside and for the first time in my life, having a real honest conversation with God. The first time where I saw prayer really as it is. Because I think in the beauty and the richness of our tradition of our rosary, of Divine Mercy Chaplet, sometimes we for can forget what the whole point of that is, and that's to bring us into union with God. You know, it's one of those things that marks Christianity is different than anyone else. Think of the Greeks. When the gods came to town, it was not a good thing. And that's typically what's dominated the thought of most people. Like, that is what prayer is. Prayer for the Greeks was you were using all your words, right? And you're trying to get the gods to do what you want them to do. That's what it was. That's not how we see prayer. If we go back to the catechism, there's a beautiful line from St. Therese, which is prayer is a surge of the heart. It's this longing for God. It's this communion with God. And both our trials and our joys, it's us seeking God. Because first, like what's the most incredible thing? Prayer happens because God is first seeking our heart and it's our response back to him. The Lord wants to speak to your heart. The Lord wants to be in union with you, in communion with you. And I think sometimes just the amazingness of that, we forget that God wants you. And that moment of weakness, I think, was the first time I really felt that. Was that it wasn't the Lord was going to come in and just magically make everything all better. The Lord just really wanted to be present in my struggles, to be with me, and for me to know it wasn't the end, and that He was with me. Prayer is amazing. Prayer is an incredible gift that we have. The question is, do we realize that? Do we take time in our day for that? I know I don't always, definitely don't. The Lord wants to be in relationship with you. That's what he wants. That's what he desires. God, your Father, wants you. The Holy Spirit wants to come dwell inside of you. The Son became incarnate so he can walk with you. So you never have to doubt that the divine and the human can come together. That's what we see in the incarnation, right? Is that the divine and the human, there's no conflict. There's no competition. So there's competition and conflict, the incarnation couldn't have happened. But because we have that, we know that the divine and the human can go together. And that's what prayer is. Is us in friendship and relationship with God. There's an incredible book I want to mention right at the end of this, which is Prayer for Beginners by Peter Kreeft. If you've accessed the forum, which I know a lot of our parishes do, download it, I recommend it, because he goes through it so well about how to pray, how prayer is all about relationship, all about how much the Lord loves you, wants to draw you into that love. Take some time every day to enter into that love. God bless.